it's teacher Ava and today I wanted to share with you one of my very favorite books and it is an awesome book by Dallas Clayton and it is full of fun and crazy pictures and wild and silly ideas and that is what this book is all about it's about using your imagination to dream up anything you could ever possibly think of and that's what I want you to do. When I'm all done reading the story, I want you to get some crayons and a piece of paper, and I want you to draw something from your imagination. Maybe it's a hippo riding a tricycle, or a monkey eating a purple polka dotted watermelon. Anything you can imagine. All right, have fun, and let your imagination go wild. Woo! An awesome book. There are places in the world where people do not dream. A rocket powered unicorns. And candy cane machines. Mmm, yummy. Of magic watermelon boats. And musical baboons. or teeny tiny trumpet players training pet raccoons. Yes, there are places in the world where people dream up dreams so simply unfantastical and practical they seem. To lose all possibility of thinking super things. of dancing wild animals with diamond-coated wings. Instead, they dream of furniture, of buying a new hat, of owning matching silverware. Could you imagine that? Instead, they lay awake at night wishing for a car. Not one that runs on jelly beans, but one that's regular. They dream of breakfast sandwiches. They dream of telephones. Sometimes they even dream of dreams that aren't even their own. Yes, there are places in the world where dreams are almost dead. So please, my child, do keep in mind before you go to bed to dream a dream as big as big could ever dream to be. Then dream a dream 10 times as big as that one dream you see. Then once you've got that dream in mind, please dream a million more and not a million quiet dreams, a million dreams that roar. A million dreams so loud they scream, so loud they sing and shout. So super huge they say, hey world, guess what I'm dreaming about? I'm dreaming about everything that no one thought to wonder. Dreams so big that they've got dreams and they've got dreams up under. Please dream for those who've given up, for those who've never tried. Please use your dreams to make new dreams for all the dreams that died. Because you're the one whose dreams can be whatever dreams you want. Whose dreams can change the way things are and the way that things are not. And if they say that all your dreams are too big to come true, you tell them that I told you. That's what dreams are meant to do. They're meant to make you seem as if you don't know up from down. Because dreams are dreams and that's why dreams are worth having around. So when you think your dreaming's done, just remember what I said. Close your eyes, my child, and dream.
that perfect dream inside your head. The end. Bye-bye.